The first time I've had mates that wanted me to go 20 odd years ago, go go in the main event, but we could never sort of fit the time in with work and things. And, and now that I've got older, I don't have to work so much, but I, I come along the tours and enjoy it. She said she would drive, but I, and I said, well, I'll get in the back seat. She said, that's not far enough. You've got to get in the boot so that I can't say anything to her. <laughs> that's not fair, is it? No, well, the boot's not big enough. <laughs> <laughs>
now it's the end of the event, we all know each other. And We've met lots of new people, lots of people have become friends and the, the variety of cars is, um, you know, the utes which we're in right through to Clarins and RA. We were stage side yesterday and we saw the Tesla coming through and thought, wow, you know, I haven't seen too many of those on target tours. How's it been? No, ah, very good. I think we're the only one this year and I think we're a bit of a pioneer, so yeah, it's going well. You electric cars are obviously the future. Range is a big thing. You've had any problems with that? Because you were pushing on. We saw you moving fairly briskly in it. Yeah, yeah yesterday oh. we were a bit tight. Today is pretty comfortable. I think the next two days might test us, but yeah, so, so good so far. Whereabouts are you from? Which part of Australia have you come from? I come from Brisbane, so we drove down from Brisbane. Yeah, and it's cost us about $180 between uh, the 7th of April and now, so yeah, doing well. That's a proper adventure, well done. Yeah, it is good, thank you. It's been fantastic, actually. It was a bucket list thing, having been offered this little gym here, the Audi, by my friend Ron Prefontaine and Annabelle. And he's got the McLaren, so we've got a good mix of cars. Something for everybody. And even Derek's little car. <laughs> I, I, is this your car? Which one? Well, obviously, no, the, 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 the leading one. I, I, I've been admiring it all week. Oh, I know. I love it. It's a silver one. It's every bit as good. Every bit as good. It's a proper car. Those are a proper little rally. No, no, that's a proper car. No, the green one's a proper uh, car. Well, uh, everything in the car is modified except the engine. The engine's still sitting in the workshop at home. <laughs> You're a man close to my heart. You quite clearly like quirky things, don't you? Yeah. I like quirkiness. I was giving these glasses. These are the quirkiest glasses ever. Miss me, that is uh, certainly fits in the category of quirky. Uh, you could weld with those quite safely. How tall are you, sir? Six eight. Six eight. Basketball player? Yes. Oh, good basketball player? No. <laughs> right. And which car are you? I can't believe there are many cars here big enough to get you in. How can you, mate? Just about. Knees are up around my ears, but I'm okay. Only just. But does it get a little uncomfortable after a few hours? No, I'm good. I'm good all day. Boys, I have to say, you had me fooled for a second there. I genuinely thought these are the best mullets on old men that I've ever seen. Am I allowed to say that? Older men? No, there's not a lot under it. I just go out long at the back and off the chest. <laughs> now there's a story, there's a story to your entry here this year, you were here last year, tell me about that first. So Dave, Dave entered last year at his uh, AMG GTR. I brought my wife um, as a bucket list thing for us both to do it and um, this year she came down and just enjoyed the social side so we went and got the Mustang specifically for this to shake and bake. And you, you've been growing the hair for some time, obviously, to go with a Mustang. Yeah, and uh, getting the colours right. It took a lot of us to, to match. So we've got matching hats, matching hair. <laughs> this whole co-driver and driver thing's working for us. It's the other wifely duties I'm responsible for this week that I was a bit surprised about, but what the hell? So we're getting a little confused. Uh, BMW, um, Toyota badge. BM wanker, someone said. Yeah, that's pretty harsh, isn't it? Yeah, but the guy says he's a friend of yours. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of people think they are because this is a Toyota. What's <laughs> the problem with these people? <laughs> well, we should have known. Go on, explain. Explain why you've got a handmade Toyota badge on the back of your car. Everything's aspirational, isn't it? <laughs> Do you think BMW are aspiring to be like Toyota? Ultimately, yep. You know, something that lasts more than four years and has a bit of performance. What is the greatest rally car that was ever made? The greatest rally car, yeah. Toyota 86. Oh, do you think so? <laughs> Legitimately, yes. <laughs> it wasn't a BMW. Oh, definitely not. Never heard of them. You brought about, uh, about 20 cars down, mate. Uh, thank you for your support. You're an absolute star. Good luck with what you've got coming up for the rest of the year. Tell me about the name on the side. Is it Spice and Spice? Is that double spicy? It's too spicy, that's it. Yeah. I'm too spicy for my car. Too spicy for my car. Too spicy by far. That's us. <laughs> Tell me about your week. How's it been? It's been really good. It's really thrilling in the wet, to say the least. But it was really, really good. What a great time. What an opportunity to be in Tasmania and drive on open roads. Magnificent.
This is the height of optimism, isn't it? Bringing a convertible to Tasmania. Yeah, so we had two days in the convertible. Oh, yeah, saw the roof. Yeah, yes, we had our helmets on and scarves flying, but uh, the rest has been under uh, under rain, unfortunately. Yeah, I was here last year, and my friend is a new co-driver, and uh, yeah, 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 pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Did you bring him back? Yeah, I'd bring him back. Yeah, a little bit more training. <laughs> <laughs> How good to have Paul Stokel, a previous Targa winner, as your tour leader? No, totally. I knew it would be a safe you know, experience in Paul's hands, so we've had a really good time. Great instruction, good guy, great co companions. It's been an excellent week. I can't, can't rate it highly enough. We're going to see you doing it again, maybe? Damn straight. <laughs>